going to mix the colour with Van Dyke Brown. Black. And lavender. So I'm using blue and crimson. It's good dark colours basically. I'm going to use these quite a bit. So I'm mixing up a decent pile of it here. Now, I'm going to need to get some titanium wire out. There we go. I'm just going to mix that colour up good. Just with a knife. Use a knife upright to pick it up. And then to lay it back down, you hold it flat. Once you get used to using the knife for mixing, it's really quite simple. And you can really give it a good old mix. There we go. Something about like so. And then I'm just going to get some titanium white. Just with what's left on the knife, I'm going to mix that. Maybe a bit more crimson. get the, the colour tones exactly how I'm wanting them. I want to get a bit of dark sienna as well. Get some dark sienna into that. Excellent. That's something like what I was wanting. Maybe make just a tiny bit of raw sienna as well. And with that. And then, like I say, I'm just going to mix it with titanium white. That pile. There. And then I'm going to get a separate pile. Which is the same colour, just simply lighter. See, that is much lighter. Maybe... more of the raw sienna into that. It's, we've got a light one and we've got a darker one. Whew. Just that mixing made my arms ache then. <laughs> good exercise, it's a good workout for your arms for sure when you're mixing on the palette like that. You know, holding it up. Right, just clean that knife off. And then, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to Use a little bit of this glaze medium, the alkyd gel. Put some of that on there. And then I'm going to mix a bit of this oil paint with it. Now, looking at the first tone, that's this, this tone here is going to be used for the lighter areas, for the rocks. And then this darker tone will be used for these shadowed areas. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get some of the alkyd gel, mix a bit with that and a bit with that. Give it a good mix when you do this. Mix the gel medium to it and it'll instantly thin it down but it doesn't take long to start to dry. Really don't it aids drying big style really good invention and because it gives a glaze as well stops your paintings look looking dull so if you put that knife down for now I just want to get a one inch brush and then with that one inch brush I'm just gonna first of all just tap into that that color but the bristles are open so it's pulled down from a pile and I'm just tapping into it you can see there the bristles are open now I just want to try that see what that stands out like against that light colour there 
These are tiny little pebbles. You want to get a bit bigger as they come close towards us, for sure. So I'll just continue tap, tapping them in there. Just gentle. Don't kill all them areas in between. Thank you.